Okay, hello there, give me a flick, man. Viewers, morons, it is Victor with some J news. A little bit late on this, but um, oh, so much to do, you know, the business, the work. Okay, actor Takaoka Sosuke is, he's an actor here in Japan. Not a big actor, he's like, I don't know, B-level. But he's married to one of a very, very popular actress named Miyazaki Aoi. Her first name is Aoi. That's a strange name. Aoi! Uh, apparently played a Korean living in Japan. Someone of Korean descent living in Japan. But here's the big deal. Here's the scandal, okay? So a few days ago, on Twitter, he types up this stuff saying, you know, I'm sick of, uh, I'm sick of watching all the, um, the, um, Korean dramas on Japanese television. You guys should play that crap in your own country. He says, teme. He refers to, to I suppose he's, he's talking, I don't know if he's talking about Fuji Television. And he works for Fuji Television. That's like his company. So he's basically calling out his company and says, stop playing Korean dramas. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a link in the, in the description here, information about this. I don't know if you guys know about this, but it's a few years ago. When was it? About, I don't know, 10 years ago or so? Korean dramas, especially romantic dramas, became very, very popular and all the obasans, all the middle-aged women here, started watching them. And they became very, very popular and a few Korean uh, actors became very, very popular here in Japan. And anyway, there's a whole bunch of them. And by the way, if you're interested in watching Korean dramas or, or Japanese dramas or Chinese dramas for that, for that matter, check out a site called mysoju.com, I think it is. I'll check it out. And you can uh, watch them with English subtitles there. It's a good site for that kind of stuff. Good for practicing uh, languages. <clears throat> Soju.com. But anyway, back to the topic. I know I'm all over the place. I'm busy. I got a class in 27 minutes. Television plays a lot of Korean dramas, which personally I find annoying. And for me personally, because I don't like reading subtitles. It stresses me out because it goes so by so fast. I'm like... <laughs> back to the topic. Fuji Television plays a lot of Korean dramas. Apparently 40 hours a month. So he criticized this and uh, it was very, very controversial. And as a result, he was fired. You know, end of story, he was fired. And he's married to an actress who makes a lot of money and they have a special expression in, Jap in Japan for that. I don't think we have one in English, right? It's called Kakusa Kon. The word Kon is the ending of Kekon. Kekon means marriage. Kakusa means gap. So gap in marriage and that's the word. So it's a... Uh, uh, this describe this word describes a couple in which one partner makes a lot more money than the other. It's usually the man who's in the lower position in this case, because otherwise we wouldn't make a, a word for it, right? So almost always a woman is in the the uh, higher economic bracket. You know, she she brings home the bacon and fries it up in a pan and still lets you never forget that how to be a man. But as a result of this Twitter. Uh, he got fired, and then he wrote this long blog on his own. Oh yeah, they erased his blog and profile off the Fuji page, you know, because he worked for Fuji. Actors here are really held on short leashes, not like in the States. They actually can end your career here pretty easily. And now some, some Nichan, I think it's Nichan, so Nichan is like the, the Japanese anonymous. They made some crank calls. To, they called themselves Uji Television. This is Uji Television. And if you say it quickly, Uji Television, you might think Fuji, right? But it's Uji, and Uji means maggot. So good prank there um, and if you look I'll put a link to that too it's pretty funny um, but as a result Takaoko Sosuke wrote this long blog explaining all his reasoning I'll let you read it uh, but he talked about his depression and panic attacks and how uh, internet hate got to him and he tried to commit suicide and he failed by the way a failed suicide if you remember from a past video is Jisatsu Misui so it sounds like miss like I missed my I, you know I, I goofed Jisatsu Misui Anywho, um, that's what's happening here, and, and, and what happened after the tweets is a lot of people agreed, and there was a, there was a big, like, um, kind of internet, it became an internet scandal, and Koreans are, like, confused, like, hey, you're the guys buying, you know, the uh, Korean dramas from us, so obviously there's a demand for it, so don't blame us for it, you know, don't blame us that, that you, you're buying, it's, it's like blaming the drug dealer uh, for your problem. Um, but a lot of anti-Korean sentiment uh, has popped up as a result of this. Now, uh, a lot of you ask about anti-Korean sentiment here in Japan. I know a few Koreans, okay, who live normal lives. Um, but the thing is, to, to be honest, a lot of people who are Korean or of, of, of Korean descent or who are raised in Korean households and are not technically Japanese, you know, they have Korean passports. So I don't know if you know this, but after World War II, a lot of, or before World War II, uh, a long time ago, a lot of Koreans were brought over from, forced to, to come over to Japan. And after World War II, they stayed, but because of their, they were of Korean descent, I think for a brief period of time they were they were considered Japanese. But then a law was passed to take away their citizenship. I don't remember, but there was some something really weird there. A lot of them are they're born and raised in Japan, don't speak any Korean, or are not culturally Korean for sure. 
but they're not Japanese and they don't speak about it really uh, because they suffer uh, racism here. Um, not racism, like discrimination. Uh, but I do know some Koreans here who, who do very well, very wealthy. In Nagoya, uh, we often say that the Korean, a lot of the Koreans are involved in uh, pachinko business, which is a kind of, kind of gambling uh, here. But of course not all. And I know one of my students married a Korean, big deal. I, I know Korean girls who married Japanese guys from my Japanese class uh, many, many years ago. Um, you know, yeah, it's possible to suffer, but there's also, there, but the other weird thing, you know, you do suffer some discrimination, but the weird thing is, it's like, it's a little bit like blacks on TV, like blacks on TV and blacks in society in America. Like, everybody loves blacks, Kobe Bryant and um, Michael Jordan, those guys are all popular, you know, uh, of course, Eddie Murphy and all those, you know, Prince and Michael Jackson, they're all popular. But in everyday society, it's kind of like, there is, this, of course, discrimination against blacks in America. But at the same time, they're like, everybody loves them in Hollywood, right? Kind of the same thing in Japan. They're on TV, everybody loves them, a lot of, lot of fans, a lot of fans, they come over and people go crazy for them. But if you say, oh, I'm Korean, yeah, you suffer discrimination. I don't know what to say about it. I'm not Korean, but I do know Koreans and they seem to be happy here and they live here. They have, I know Koreans who come over. Uh, from Korea, actually, and live here. Those who've been raised here, I gotta say, it's probably different. It's uh, you. You will find some really ugly videos on YouTube showing how much uh, they get yelled at. But it's just like, you know, this happens every race in every country. And it's you know, every everybody suffers. You know, it's not. I'm not trying to diminish their their suffering or their discrimination here. But uh, this guy Takaoka um, Sosuke said at the end, I got nothing against Korea. It's just that I'm. I want the uh, people who are leading Japan to listen to my protest. And I'm, I'm kind of sick of being an actor anyway. And anyway, I'll, link, I'll put some. Is there anything else I wanted to say about that? I'll put some links in the description. A lot of people actually supported him um, because it is true. There's so much Korean uh, Korean dramas on TV. It is kind of annoying, to be honest. And it's got. It's, it has nothing to do with the fact that they're, it's Korean drama. It's just for me. It's like it's just you know. I want to watch Japanese stuff. A little update, I was editing this video and Yukari pointed out that uh, just yesterday or maybe the day before there was a protest in front of the Fuji television station, uh, uh, roughly a thousand people or so attended. Uh, there's going to be a link in the description where you can actually go to a homepage that has pictures and videos of the protesters, people with Japanese flags, etc. The main point that they wanted to say, and, and oh, this was organized by Nichan, so it's kind of cool, right? Except those, they can be really dangerous. Um, yeah, anyway, you don't want to screw with them. Get on their wrong side and you're career is over. But anyway, they're supporting uh, Kosuke, um, Takaoka, and uh, they they are just against Hanryu. Hanryu is, I can never say this word, Hanryu. This is Jap, uh, Korean dramas. But they're not against Korea. That's one of, apparently one of the points. Anyway, check out the latest uh, update in the description and on with the video. I guess that's all I gotta say. Thanks for watching everyone. See you in the next video.